Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got five more ridiculously cool knives that you guys should definitely be aware of. Now, uh, some of these are available and some of them are not, um, but I think a lot of these are lesser known and definitely deserve some attention. Everything on the list today is pretty expensive, but if you're familiar with the knife world, then that's just par for the course. Uh, these are definitely cool knives and definitely made with premium materials, um, so I thought that you guys might really enjoy checking them out. I will link any and all information about any of these models down in the description so that you guys can check them out if you want to. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Let's start off here with the most expensive one of the bunch and probably the craziest one of the bunch. This is the John Graham and MechForce collab Ringed Rhino, which is <laughs> absolutely an insane knife. Titanium M390, one of the weirdest stubby little rhino blade shapes I've ever seen. And then of course you have the super cool and tactical karambit ring thing. This is absolutely a premium knife and comes with all of the, you know, super premium fit and finish, you know, all of that stuff that you would want. It is made super duper well. It has a very expensive price tag uh, coming in at 498 euros on tools for gents, which I will link right down below. If you are familiar with John Graham, you are probably familiar with like the Razzle, right? The, the, the old mid tech. Um, this uh, has that kind of John Graham feel to it. And it's also got that weird pocket clip that runs along the spine. It's super cool. If you like stuff like this, then great. I'm not the type of person who enjoys carrying around a karambit style knife, but if you are, this is a fairly compact one. And one thing that I will say is that the ergonomics are stupidly comfortable. This is a ridiculously comfortable knife to not only hold, but manipulate. Very, very nice lock bar cutout, very easy manipulation, good snappy action, right? The blade is a compound ground rhino tanto for lack of a better name. I'm sure the blade shape police or people pretending to be the keepers of the secret blade shape will tell everybody what it's supposed to be down in the comment section, right? So rush down there if you seek that wisdom. Um, but yeah, the knife is really cool. It's just really, really expensive, right? If you're into this, I will link it down below. You guys can check it out, absolutely. You might have to go to Tools for Gents, change it to English, and then search for the Rhino, or it'll probably be listed on their first page. Um, but, uh, you know, as the title of this video suggests, the only criteria here is that the knives are cool. Price kind of goes out the window uh, for this series. Moving on here. One that's still expensive, but definitely less expensive. This is the new Concept Arsis, and it might just barely have been released, or it might still be in pre-order right now. I like this knife because it is one that has a slender profile, and normally I don't ni like knives like this because they're usually frame locks or something weird where, you know, actually getting it to deploy is kind of awkward because the frame is narrow and you're trying to not put pressure on the lock bar. This actually has a pretty wide G10 inlay that covers a lot of the lock bar, so it makes manipulation of it, both in deployment and you know disengagement of the lock bar, makes it really easy. On top of that, there's a fuller that runs the length of the blade, and it actually allows you to reverse, I can't believe it. You can reverse flick this super narrow blade um, pretty easily from essentially anywhere you want. I would suggest going lower. I mean, you can even like use an unorthodox, let's see if I can do it with the third finger. Almost, I got my index finger in the way, come on. Let's get it right. Let's make it look cool for the people watching. Let's, okay, I can't do it. But I did it off, there we go. I was gonna say, I did it off camera. You can actually do it, right? S35EN, titanium. They also did their nice tumbled finish, which is great. I like this so much more than their satin finish. It looks nice. Um, this is S35, there it is. They've been printing things smaller, which I really like. Thank you, Concept, for doing smaller print. S35VN Titanium, and this is the Neon Green G10. They have versions of it with different inlays. The base price, it's hard to say because they haven't listed the price for this one yet, but the one with the titanium inlay that's like a bronze titanium, it's like 180 bucks. So perhaps versions like this that have G10 or Micarta will be even less and gets a pretty fair price. Honestly, this is really, it's one of my favorite slender knife designs and it's actually fairly large. The overall length of the Arsis is coming in at just shy of eight inches, about 7.85 maybe. Blade length is absolutely three and a half inches and the cutting edge is three and a quarter. You actually get quite a bit of knife considering how narrow and compact it is, right? Pretty cool. 
Moving on here to one that I'm sure you guys will like and I'm almost certain you have never heard of. Uh, this is the Dark Bolt Designs, whoops, terrible intro. The Dark Bolt Designs Stratus. I promise the flipper is actually tuned very well. Funny enough, they have a different version of this knife that is also called the Arsis with a sheep's foot blade. The cool thing about this knife is that it is a button operated liner lock that also has thumb studs and a front flipper. So you can kind of deploy it however you want. And honestly, the detent is tuned line enough to make it work well with the, you can't tune the detent heavy so that it works perfectly with a flipper and then expect the thumb studs to work perfectly and not like, you know, rip your fingers off. So it's tuned just right. These are actually manufactured by Wee Knives. They come with CPM 20 CV steel. We are looking at G10 here and steel liners, but we are looking at titanium hardware across the board, including the thumb studs and a milled clip. So keep that in mind. It's a fairly expensive knife. Kind of wish they would make a full titanium version of this and also a budget version of this. As it sits, these come in at $219. This is a new company that is doing these things small batch. So that's part of the reason why the price is a little bit higher. But honestly, I think this is pretty nice. And the overall size, weight, ease of manipulation, I love the button operated liner lock. I think that's really cool. Um, it's, it's just really good. I wish that they had milled a spot for lefties. That would have been a good move. I, I don't know why we have so many knives in 2023 where that's not the case. But honestly, both the Dark Bolt Design Stratus and Arsis are super duper fidgety that have a bajillion different means of deployment. So if that's something that you're into, these are made very well. If you're familiar with Wee Knife manufacturing, you can expect these things to be absolutely perfect. And they are, right? These are manufactured really, really well. Um, I would recommend light switching it for flipping and then your regular you know, thumb stud and reverse flick action and your um, sort of uh, your front flipper action, those are all gonna be just fine. You can also use the button to whip it in and out, right, if you want to. It's just a bunch of different ways to uh, deploy and manipulate this thing. So if that's your deal, go for that. Moving on here, um, definitely one of the coolest, like one of the coolest designs that's come in that has an amazing price tag here lately. And that is uh, Jim Skelton actually has his own fully knife design. This is the Skelton Bladeworks Caldera. You guys have not, I'm sorry, I said Caldera. It's the Kaladin. Why did I say Caldera? Kaladin. Um, you guys have not seen me unbox this yet. In fact, that's the case with many knives on this is you haven't seen me actually unbox it yet. So that's pre-recorded and you'll actually see that in the future. I know that doesn't really make sense, but yeah, what are you going to do? I got scheduled content, right? These are manufactured by Tuya Knife and they have, this is such a Jim Skelton knife. You can just feel this, almost said dripping Jim Skelton and that's gross, but you can, you can tell that this was designed by somebody who is absolutely infatuated with every last little tiny detail of a knife. The action on this thing is insane. It is insane. The flipping action is tuned perfectly. We have uh, absolutely beautiful ergonomic lines. This is so comfortable. The lock-in is fantastic. The blade shape is awesome. This particular version is S90V. Hand rub satin finish S90V with silver twill. We do not see enough of the silver carbon fiber. Absolutely beautiful. Titanium bolsters, titanium, titanium, titanium everywhere, right? Tuya did an excellent job. It's a Jim Skelton though. It's probably going to be super expensive. Actually, base price for the jigged titanium is 250. The version you're looking at here is 285. Excellent deal. $280 for this. I have no problem for that. This is an absolutely spectacular knife for the money, and I'm very excited uh, for these to uh, actually deliver to people. You can buy these right now, actually, I think off the Two You Knife website. And then last but not least, one that is not available yet, but will absolutely be available. It's currently in Kickstarter, but they have met, they have absolutely met uh, their goal there. This is the new Kunwu Knives Chad. Uh, with the bar lock. Um, they are, uh, I was confused when I unboxed this at what steel they were going to use. Um, they have a whole bunch, but Kunwu Knives has a ton of designs, right? This is something that will absolutely be followed through with. Um, it is essentially a, a bar lock version of the Tau, which is amazing. I have the frame lock version of the Tau, and you can absolutely get it. They are uh, planning to use a Saab PM60 and harden it, uh, harden it uh, to 68 to 69 Rockwell. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Absolutely insane. This is such an awesome knife. Oh, man. Kunwu just keeps doing such amazing things. Right now, 
If you're wanting weird, different, I mean, they've released, I've got a Tau and Vanax, right? They're doing all these crazy different steels. If you want something that's different from the industry, it's like the, the, the weeds of the industry is M390 on everything, right? If you want something that's different, right, but you still want to get it for a good price, we're getting exotic, crazy, like custom knife world steals through this stuff for very reasonable price. I don't know what this is going to come in at, but judging by everything else in Kunwu's line, which I would, if you're not familiar with Kunwu, Kunwu, I would suggest that you follow that link in the description and go to their website because they have so many amazing knives. Um, but judging uh, just by th their past pricing, I am certain that the Chad will come in at an amazing price tag. This thing, this is a pre-production, like a prototype, and it is absolutely just beautiful this thing works so well these run on omega springs but they also come with various they come with multiple replacement omega springs and uh, uh omega springs with various uh like in various sizes for for different tension right so you really don't have to worry too much about like if one breaks then you'll undoubtedly have another set ergonomics ease of manipulation and of course that beautiful diamond textured titanium pattern uh the chad is sure to win the hearts <laughs> As Chads generally do, right? <laughs> Win the hearts of many, right? Very, very awesome stuff. I, again, I don't know what the price of this is, but uh, uh, it is coming soon, and I definitely want people to be aware of it. So we'll go back over the knives again. We have the Kunwu Chad. We have the Skelton Bladeworks Kaladin. Don't know why I called it the Card Caldera uh, originally. We have the Dark Bolt Designs uh, Stratus. We have the Concept Arsis. Keep in mind there's also a Dark Bolt Arsis if you like a sheep's foot uh, design. And then the crazy John Graham and Mechforce Rhino. Uh, like I said, any and all information about these knives will be linked down in the description so you guys can check them out. That's going to be pretty much it today. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.